Hello there. I'm Alex Udris from Bold Method, and I have an important announcement from the United States government and from the United Nations. It's about chem contrails and how they form. They form from physics and not from chemicals. And they come in two types, aerodynamic and exhaust. Let's talk about them. Aerodynamic contrails are actually really easy to understand. As air flows over an airfoil, it starts to decrease in pressure. And as that pressure drops, so does the temperature. So if the air had very, very high humidity and that temperature starts to drop, it may start to condense out the water and form a cloud. The key thing with an aerodynamic contrail is that it doesn't last long because as the air exits an airfoil, it goes back up to ambient temperature. When the air goes back to normal, you don't see any more humidity. So you can tell it's an aerodynamic contrail because it looks like a little cloud attached to the wing. Then it only lasts for a few seconds. And it's not just a wing that it can form on. It can form on stall vanes or can form on intakes for engines pretty much anywhere on the airplane. And you'll see these from an A320 even to an F-15 or an F-22 when they pull Gs. The other kind of contrail is an exhaust contrail. And these are much more common and they're much more persistent. They require very hot exhaust gases and they also require very cold ambient temperatures. So at the sea level, you would need an ambient temperature of negative 24 degrees Celsius or below, and at flight level 500 or 50,000 feet, up to negative 50 Celsius or below. As that hot human air exits the engine, it starts to mix with the extremely cold ambient air, and that humidity starts to condense out. That forms a contrail. However, the air never warms back up to ambient because ambient is so cold, so that contrail can last for up to 20 minutes. So when you look up in the sky and you see an aircraft in cruise and you see its contrails, those are exhaust contrails. That's how it works. Plain and simple, no chemicals, just physics.